Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some DIY projects for you that are perfect for your outdoor space that I am sitting at right now. All of these projects kind of have a little bit of a nautical vibe, I would, I would guess, but um, they all are also very transitional and will go in a lot of different decor styles in your home. So before we get into those DIYs, I of course wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys know who you are, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. My OGs, my newbies, everybody in between. Thank you guys so, so much. All right, let's get into that video. All right, everyone, we are going to take two of these Dollar Tree nautical frames, some dowel rods that I also grabbed from Dollar Tree. These are the tall ones. And um, we're going to grab one of these glass cylinder vases. So for these frames, the first thing we're going to do is take them apart and kind of take all the all the guts out of it. We're going to remove this wood circle. Definitely keep that wood circle because that will come in handy. And um, we're going to also get rid of the plastic and the paper and everything. We're also going to take those little black tabs off of there. Now, what's really cool about these is that they fit perfectly on either side of these glass vases. How amazing is that? Now, what I would definitely do is uh, first remove these tabs because I said I was going to do that before and I didn't. Now, with the glass vases, there's two different sizes at Dollar Tree. I would go with the shorter one because the um, taller ones are going to be, or the taller one is going to be too tall for the dowel rod. So you won't be able to use the Dollar Tree dowel rods if you do that. Um, so um, first thing we're going to do is actually take this hole that you see here and i'm just adding some wood putty in here i'm adding this wood putty that is pink and then as it dries it will actually get white so it's actually really cool because you know when it is dry and you know when you can start painting it and uh, kind of doing all the things now for the dowel rod i am just going to um kind of be very lazy and uh, just take that dowel rod and just kind of put it up next to the vase and just kind of judge the way I'm going to cut it this way. And uh, again, I totally admitted it just being kind of lazy with it. I'm using my uh, pliers there, my lineman pliers, and now I'm just going to use one as my template and I am going to go through and cut a whole bunch of these dowel rods. I think there were, I think there's eight that um, go around that because you're going to put one on each one of those little points there. And then once you've got all eight of those cut, you can start to glue them on the lower part or on one half of your um, nautical frame. So um, just do it on the lower half or on one of the halves and you'll see why we're doing that in just a second. So after you've got your pieces up uh, kind of glued together and set up like this you're going to take them outside and spray paint them i'm using spray paint i find it much easier i actually really like working with spray paint and um, i am just going to spray paint everything in this bright candy apple red color i love this color and um, i did do two coats on this because you'll want to get into all the different sides of those dowel rods and such and um, I just kind of let it dry and then went out there and did the second coat and again let it dry by the way also this DIY was actually a this is a dupe of another creators this is a dupe from J Money DIY she did this DIY several years ago and I loved it and I have always wanted to do it and I could never find these frames so once I finally found the frames I was like you know what J Money I got a copy of your DIY because it was fantastic and it's going to look amazing on my porch. Um, I went ahead and uh, after everything had dried, now I'm going to start to reassemble it. Now, you'll notice on those frames, there's kind of a squared off end here and you want to make sure that you line up those squared end ends. So, you know, it just kind of hides and it doesn't, it won't look as bad. And then this part's a little trickier because hot glue does tend to dry kind of quickly. But, um... You're going to add some hot glue to, um, you know, three or four of these. And then you're going to put that frame on and just kind of line that up and line up those pegs. And then when it's all done, this is what you've got. It is gorgeous. I love this out on my patio so much. 
This is actually out of my back deck on that metal table that I have out there. And I love this. Major, major shout out to my friend, J Money DIY. Be sure and check out her channel. I will have it linked below in case you have not checked out her channel before. And uh, she has some fantastic DIY, so definitely tell her. I said, hey, girl. All right, and for the next project, I'm going to take this tray that I picked up from Dollar Tree Plus. It was $5. And then I grabbed one of these Dollar Tree dish mats, and I loved this nautical theme. And then I have this Deco Art Navy paint. It is called Admiral, and I really, really love this paint. And uh, you know it's my favorite color, so of course I'm going to say I, do, I love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and just paint everything uh, this navy color. Now I'm not going to paint the base of the tray. You can see that I started to do it there, and then I remember, duh, I don't need to do that because we're going to be covering all of that. But uh, I'm going to paint everything in this admiral blue. I'm going to paint the inside of the tray with the exception of the bottom there, and then I'm going to paint the sides and the handles and the you know get everything blue. I didn't paint the bottom though, so you know on the bottom side there. So um, paint that if you want to. It doesn't bother me to leave it unfinished. So after that was done and everything was dried, then I took my dish mat and I am going to use this as a liner for my tray. Now, what I'm going to do with this is just simply lay this out flat. I'm going to flip it over on the blue side. That way I don't get any pen marks or anything on there. And I'm just going to take my tray and just put it right on top. I took a marker, I took a Sharpie, and just traced right around it. And then I just cut it right on the lines that you see from the Sharpie. Now, I did have to trim this down a little bit more. Not a big deal at all. I just kind of recentered it and drew the other line and then um, was able to trim this. This was super, super easy. Not only does this um, cut really well, but it cuts nice and clean. It doesn't fray. I really, really liked working with this. So after I got it cut and set, it was almost done. It looks pretty good now, but I decided to take some Dollar Tree yarn and I'm going to take that and I'm going to wrap it around the handles and make some, you know, some handles that have some uh, some of that beautiful blue color in there. And all I'm going to do is just add some hot glue and just simply start wrapping the yarn around each side. And when it's all done, this is the beautiful tray that you've got out for outside. You can serve drinks on it. You can put food on it. It even just looks really good with a candle on it. It's so, so simple that I really loved doing this. My next DIY is going to be very, very simple and something else to kind of add as an accent to your backyard deck or patio. I'm going to take a Dollar Tree glass cylinder vase. I'm also going to take some nautical rope. I'm going to cut off a piece at the end and uh, that piece I'm going to reserve for later on. Now for the next batch or the next length of the Dollar Tree rope, I am just going to literally hot glue this down to the glass vase itself. And uh, at first, I'm going to add lots of hot glue kind of until that first row of uh, nautical rope is glued and in place. And then as I work my way up the bottle, you can kind of be a little bit, you know, you can be um, whatever the opposite of liberal is. You can, <laughs> you can be a little, you know, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You just, you, you just don't have to use as much glue. How about that? And then uh, once you do get the, um, once you're out of rope, in this case, I use the eight foot bundle. Now you're going to take that uh, piece of rope that you reserved. You're going to cut it in half, and then you're going to create some little handles on your glass vase here. And this is going to be a very cool kind of, uh, it definitely has a nautical vibe, but I think it also kind of fits within a lot of different styles. And then for mine, I just added some of the Dollar Tree wood pieces. I'm out of sand, I'm out of the rocks. And uh, I went ahead and just added a candle. And again, something that's very, very cute. And it looks really good out on my deck. It also looks great on that tray that I just made. And it's super, super versatile. I think you could use several different heights of these vases from Dollar Tree and create a collection of these. I think that would be amazing, especially even inside like on a mantle or something. I'm really, really liking this one as well. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed these projects today. If you did, leave me a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. Also, be sure to give me a likes and a thumbs up and all that other kind of jazz. I'm also out there on social media, on Instagram, TikTok, and all the other ones, so be sure and check me out there also. All right, guys, take care.